What is up? I'm Moana Turtle. Today we have a Pokemon video. We are wrapping up our box of Miracle Twin. Got it right. I didn't say Unified Minds. Uh, but first, I do want to uh, take a quick poll for from the viewers. Uh, shout out to Miracles We Perform that made me realize that made me aware that YouTube videos can have polls. Uh, so this is for our showcases that are going to be starting up real soon. Um, so I'm interested in what your thoughts thoughts are and whether you would want to see as far as like the mic from my collection, the PSA graded cards or the ungraded cards. So I kind of categorize this as like um, this has a, like highest established value where this one kind of this uh collection has like a lot of potential uh depending on what grade is maybe this one definitely won't get a 10 but the cards in it are i bought raw um and just because they have a lot of potential one when graded so i have two examples here that will show off i feel like are good representations of the cards in them and so for the graded one we have a shining raichu uh from neo destiny uh psa 9 it's a very cool card it is a secret rare 1 111 out of 105 and so i really like this card uh it's very interesting he has like thunder or lightning and water energies and it's a really cool card right to shining right just doesn't look that different uh but one thing i like about this card i'm not sure you guys can tell so i think you can see it um it kind of has like some texturing these these early shinings uh, so it has a very cool full pattern and a little bit of texturing and so I was really happy to pick up this card Shining Raichu PSA 9 good representation of what's in that PSA box and now for our uh, Raw cards that are not yet graded, but probably will be graded once I start sending those to PSA still working on that um, is a boom Gold Star Charizard very cool card very sought after uh, from what set this is from one of the uh, sets with delta species um but this is this card is absolutely sick um i think this was also it's so this is the sh uh gold star so it's a delta species although the like the shiny charizard is also like dark so uh which is kind of ironic uh but this is the dark type charizard he's a basic type absolutely sick art i didn't even know this card existed till i got back into pokemon um and so this guy was not cheap uh so there's your two options or a good representation of what's in those tins uh so i'll put up a card somewhere somewhere <laughs> and let me know what your thoughts are whether you want to uh basically i'll do uh, one card every video and i'll be showing off cards from either my graded collection or my raw collection okay with all that being said guys yeah definitely um let me know in a comment what your thoughts are or definitely hit uh participate in that poll and let's get into the rest of this box of miracle twin we are definitely searching for mew mewtwo tag team uh misty's request and dragonite ex that's my hit list all right we have an arachnid orangaroo dragonair scrafty i think and some blue light all right don't have the checklist in front of me so i might not get all the pokemon's names some of them i'm not that familiar with uh but we'll see how we can do let's see we did i feel like we did pretty good last time oh this looks like some kind of poke center or something i don't know hey why not a electric turns into electros i think uh swaddle i think that's a weird look pokemon and then oh man <laughs> oh i don't th i don't have it on me um but we pulled the secret rare version of this so man that what a what an interesting box of we pulled two sableye uh tyranitar this is a pretty cool art sableye is always weird with these gem things uh, but the alternate art if you haven't seen last video definitely go check that out we pulled the alternate art of this and sableye is just like munching on some um noshing on a bunch of gems or something i'm not sure of what <laughs> what what he's all about but he seems to always want to eat those things uh so there we go our first hit and it's a good one a tag team to boot all right just gotta organize this power quick we have a light part um purloin turn the light part a whimsicott oh no cottony uh l gem i think and then a moon goose moon goose i don't know he's weird some weird, some odd ones in, in this set, I have to say. Has some really cool ones. Tyrantar, Sableye, Mew, Mewtwo, and then, like, this guy's kind of weird. Archeon or something. Tynamo. Uh, Archon. The one that evolves from another Sawaddle. And then, ooh, Necrozma. 
Ah, do I have the thing still up? All right, let's see. Necrozma, barrier attack, 30 damage. During your opponent's next turn, takes 30 less damage. Uh, that's not good enough. And then special laser, 100 plus damage. And this Pokemon special energy attack does 60 more damage. Hmm, too psychic though. If it was like psychic double colors, that would be amazing. But as as it is, um, I don't think he's strong enough. But I really like Necrozma. I feel like for me it goes Duskmane Necrozma, then Necrozma himself, Ultra Necrozma, and then Dawn Wings. A uh, blue something, don't remember exactly. A Dedene, Joltik. A Wimpod. Ooh, if I if we pull the evolutionist, I have, have some thoughts about this Pokemon. If not, uh, the next Wimpod we'll talk about. As always, guys, if you do uh, enjoy this video and am excited for some of these cards to hit the English set in Unified Minds, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And if you're not already subscribed, definitely hit that sub button on your way out. We have a Reckoloth or something. I, I, I equate this thing to the... Bruxish, this, these terrifying fishes. Uh, I think this is Drillbur or something. This weird sword. Uh, tss, tss, I can't remember this fish's name. And then we have, oh yeah, serious Galissapod. <laughs> so I think the Wimpod looks more like it, but um, oh, there's like this very frightening um, Arthropod or whatever that I, I, I see it on reddit a lot on like nature's metal or something um so that like it's some kind of parasite that attaches itself to a fish's tongue and like slowly bleeds out the tongue so the, the tongue just goes away and then he acts as the tongue and just like continues to like uh be a parasite to the fish it's like really disgusting and then there's like this famous gif where someone's holding a fish like he just caught it so he's holding the fish and then the whatever that thing is called just like crawls out of his arms like absolutely terrifying and then you kind of just look into a fish's mouth and you see it like staring at you oh horrifying all right missy's request i really want the full art version of that shroomish uh scorpio scaripo um dupider Ooh, this is a 3.0 i want to say it's bulky gear but uh that feel like that should have already been out, but this is a trainer rare. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, let's see. It is a Poke Gear 3.0. <laughs> that's, that's very curious that uh, it came out in English already. Okay, we're starting to wind down on packs of Lapras uh, with Misty in the background. This, uh, I think its effect allows you to get Misties or something from the discard pile or something like that. And uh, Young Goose, um, Swaddle turns to Swa something else, Onyx, classic Pokemon, this guy stinks though, and a Breloom, interesting that he only has one energy attack, did I look at this last time? Oh, sorry, about to sneeze. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, um, alright, Breloom, uh, your opponent's Pokemon is now asleep, that is terrible. Sleep strike 30 plus damage your Pokemon sleep. Just, uh, I don't think so. Oh, I saw a Dratini. I want that Dragonite. Noibat. Noivern. <laughs> Dratini. That's a cool looking Dratini. Joltik. Dewpider. And Electrovoss or something like that. Uh, let's see what that one attack is. Alright. Um. Vols from Tynamo, Overspark. Uh, oh wait, no. Uh, okay, Electros. If this Pokemon is in, in your hand and you have four Lightning Energy in play, you may use this ability. Put this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench. If you do, you may move as many Electric Energy from your Pokemon to this Pokemon as you like. Okay, that, that'll basically set up for hover over 130 damage or points next turn. The defending Pokemon can't retreat. I don't think so. Cool mechanic. Interesting how he can just come out of nowhere and attack. I wish he was like a lot stronger. All right, Scorp Scorpio turns into. Don't remember Onyx. Scorpio. Don't remember you. 
and oh boy the crazy eyes all right we are winding down on the packs uh, I'm very happy with this box um, first time we pulled the alternate art oh I wish we pulled the alternate out in sky legends though that those legendary birds that looks so cool another this this sword is so weird oh yes there we go this is the card we wanted um, the Mew Mewtwo uh, I don't remember it's GX just too I, I remember the GX wasn't all, all that exciting but the really cool thing about this is that he can use or this tag team can use any attacks um, from any of your GX or EX Pokemon and uh, let me just find Okay, and then Miracle Twin, 200 damage. If this Pokemon has one extra energy attached to it, heal all damage from all your Pokemon. So that's actually pretty good, uh, just to have in your back pocket. Uh, but I feel like if you can get some good um, GX, other GXs with some solid attacks, uh, this card can be really useful. Just like a wild card that can just um, use unexpected attacks. Or I guess it's not that unexpected, but he's just a constant threat that he can threaten anything. All right. No idea what this is. Some kind of energy. Young Goose, Foon Goose, <laughs> Dew Blade, and a Jinx. Next pack. All right, we got two packs left. Let's see if we can't end with a bang. Let's see. We got uh, Joltik turns into Garvantula, Noibat, Tynamo, maybe. Ah, uh, Vicar, Vicaroth, Vicaroth. Yeah. And then uh, Honage, Dew Blade. Aegislash. How does a sword turn to Sue's two swords turn into a sword and a shield? I don't get it. Oh, I still have two packs left. I didn't see that one underneath. All right, let's see if we can't get one more hit. Here we go. Oh, the turtle turns into this thing. He's kind of ugly. I really like the tor Tortuga. Such a cute Pokemon. And some weird piranhas. Slick off. And aw, uh, Kamala. Super cute. For our last pack, can we get some last pack magic? Here we go. We have ah oh, Whimsicott. I like Whimsicott. Yanma. Yes, there we go. We pulled two turtles in this box. Ah. Uh, yeah, don't look at his moves. It's not that impressive. <laughs> look how cute he is. All right. Some eggs. Ooh, a Celebi. Very nice. So, very happy with the results in this box. Just to recap this opening, let's see. Alright. We have... Necrozma. That's pretty cool. Ooh, another tag team. Sableye Tyrantar. Second for this box. Ooh, Mewtwo and Mew. Uh, definitely... Definitely one of the cards they're going for. And then, the biggest hit. The Tor Tortuga? I don't... I'm not sure, but he is... Just a really cute turtle. Uh, as far as like Pokemon looking like animals, <laughs> this is just a straight sea turtle. And I like it. Uh, so that's it for the opening, guys. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in on this set and what card you're excited to be printed in English for Unified Minds. And make sure you participate in that poll whether you want to see my graded collection or ungraded collection. Uh, both of them are super fire. Uh, so just let me know by participating in that poll. Uh, on that, guys, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Like, comment, subscribe, all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.